a court in Myanmar has rejected an appeal by two Reuters reporters jailed for breaking a state secrets act. Wallon and Kai Oso Owa were sentenced to seven years in September in a case condemned around the world. They exposed the summary execution of 10 Muslim Rohingyas by the security forces during the military's anti-Rohingya operation in 2017. But the judge called their terms suitable punishment and said the defense had not proved their innocence. Both were arrested carrying official documents handed to them by police officers. They maintain their innocence, saying the authorities set them up. When arrested the two were investigating a mass execution of Rohingyas, hundreds of thousands of whom have been forced to flee destruction and persecution in the northern Rakhine province of Myanmar, also called Burma. UN investigators have called for top Myanmar generals to be investigated for genocide, and criticized the country's de facto leader Nobel Peace Prize laureate Aung San Suu Kyi for failing to stop the attacks. The massacre the reporters were investigating is the only one the Burmese government has admitted. Myanmar's military, which says its operations targeted militant or insurgent threats, had until then insisted its soldiers carried out no unlawful killings. Reuters editor-in-chief Stephen J. Adler called the court's rejection yet another injustice against the bear. Reporting is not a crime, and until Myanmar writes this terrible wrong, the press in Myanmar is not free, he said in a statement. Wallon, 32, and Kai Oso Oa, 28, are Myanmar citizens who were working for the international news agency. They had been collecting evidence about the murders of 10 Rohingya men by the army in the village of Indin in northern Rakhine in September 2017. They were arrested before the report's publication, after being handed some documents by two policemen who they had met at a restaurant for the first time. A police witness testified during the trial that the restaurant meeting was a setup to entrap the journalists.